Brocket the Yahweh, Brocket the Yahweh Shai. Brocket the Yahweh, Brocket the Yahweh Shai. Brocket the Yahweh, Brocket the Yahweh Shai. Brocket the Wakakadash. I'd like to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bless Him, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles, the great millstone, the elders of GMS, and citations, and peace and blessings to Yahweh, and this pushing this truth. Okay. Back here with some more of these um, end time prophecies and more of the news, more of the gospel of woe unto these, ev woe unto the evildoers. <laughs> All right. Um, I got a quick scripture here. Um, let me show you right here and pull it up real quick, uh, which is a powerful scripture. One of my favorites, <laughs> you know. Uh, this is First Timothy five and six says, "But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth." All right. So we've been pushing this for a while now. How the world, and mainly Israel, these women are out of order. You know. The men and the women, but mainly these women, they're just totally, completely out of order, man. You know, that's part of the message. You know, because these women don't give a damn. But lo and behold, here we go. More of these government studies that's coming out. And this is just how the spirit works. Just like with the other day, the Akim coming out with how the women, um, they retain the sperm of all the men that this, these, these, these shameless dogs open their legs to, you know, they continue to hold on to that sperm from every band they lay, they, they lay and open their funky legs to, for, I think, up to 80-something years, you know, it's pretty much is their lifetime, you know, because a lot of these hoes don't live no older than 70 anyway. I mean, you, my mom's damn near 90 now. You know, but it's just a rare case right there, you know. There are those exceptions. But check it out. It says, having multiple sexual partners linked, uh, linked to increased risk cancer. But I'm going to read into this more, you know. And the funny thing is, like, you know, you give this information to these women and they go on a defense then. All that is is just their conscience from them being fucking trifling and foul. So they go on to the defense, you know. Which, you know, they open their fucking mouths. And you already know what the scripture says about them opening their mouths. You know, the book of Proverbs. Uh, where is that scripture at? That's one of the scriptures I haven't seen in a while. Ever. Hasn't been necessary to use it in a while. These bitches, they, they losing their power. <laughs> You know, the scripture says that she's clamorous, she's simple, and she knoweth nothing. Um, the, that's, the, that's Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. So you go and give them this information. You know, the defense, man, just started defending themselves. When there is no defense of being a whore, you know. There's no defense of being an adulterous slut. Literally, there's none. So all they do is just clamor on with some madness. But let's continue on. Let's read some of this. Which is as powerful, like I said. You know, they have to tell you that the man is, you men are men are dogs and men are hoes. But according to these studies, men are just doing what they're supposed to do. Unless you know, men are going off if they're committing adultery by sleeping with another man's wife. You know? But, you know, let me, let me, with that said, let me say this also. I mean, you women are out there that are, that are, that that wants that want to do right and just that wanted to follow the laws and want to learn the laws and the commandments of Yahweh bless him Yahweh Shai, you know, just hang on, you know. You know, most high gonna forgive. I mean, he's gonna forgive a lot of women, you know, but a lot of women are gonna go through that fire, man. They're gonna catch a lot of hell before we get up out of here, you know. I mean, we have a lot to pay for. <laughs> all of us, all of us have a lot to pay for, you know. So let me continue. Let me read on. Playing the field could be putting people at much greater risk of being diagnosed with cancer. A study reveals. Okay, now, which woman do you know that out there doing studies under microscopes and 
uh, blood tests and running. You know what I mean? None of these, none of these goddamn fools, man. But like I said, they'll run their mouths. You know, cause the scripture, scripture said they're they're uh, they're 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 foolish women. You know, they're fools. So they'll run their mouths. Let them run their mouths. No matter. Because judgment is a different story. Judgment with the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has a way of bringing people back to reality. Because <laughs> that's ultimately what's going to happen. The judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to bring these 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 dogs back to reality. And it's not going. They're not going to. They're. It's not going to be pleasant, you know. Just like their judgment's not going. You know, it's just not going to be pleasant. So it says those most likely to be diagnosed are people with ten or more sexual partners throughout their lifetime, and among women, a higher number of sexual partners is also linked to heightened odds of reporting a limiting long-term condition. The findings indicate. Few studies have looked at the potential impact of number of sexual partners on wider health outcomes. So researchers from Anglia Ruskin University drew information gathering for the English longev long Longitudinal Study of Aging, a national representative tracking study of adults age 50 and above living in England. Old hoes. Talking about the old hoes. Kind of funny how Sports Illustrated starting to, uh, they're going to publish the swimsuit issue and uh, a model over her 50s. She don't. She didn't look bad. Honest, to be honest with you, she don't look bad. But uh, still a old hoe. And uh, I'm not gonna go into all these stats here, but almost 6,000 people were, with an average age of 64, were asked to rate their own health and report any long-standing conditions. Okay, but I'm gonna skip down some more. Okay. Those who reported a higher tally of sexual partners were more likely to smoke, drink frequently, and do more vigorously physical activity on a weekly basis. Smoke and drink frequently. That's probably to cover up those demons, to comfort their minds, you know. You know, ain't nothing more, more unattractive than a woman that smokes and just, and just uh, uh, constantly fucking drunk, man. Person, to me, is just straight up turn off. You know, it's not an. I don't look at it as an opportunity or to get between that little trifling thing's ass. First, it's a turn off to me. You know, I personally prefer a woman that can at least appear f feminine. You know, as a lady. You know. Okay, so uh, among the men, those who reported two to four lifetime sexual partners were fifty-seven percent more likely to have big diagnosed with cancer than were those who reported zero to one and those who report ten or more were sixty nine percent more likely to have been diagnosed with the disease. While the number of sexual partners was not associated with reported long standing conditions among the men, you hear that? It was among the women. Read it again. While the number of sexual partners was not associated with reported long-standing conditions among the men. It was among the woman. You know, the Most High always warns you, claim that you already know the Bible, you know Jesus, you love Jesus, and, you know, nobody, no man can teach you anything, you know. You know, the Bible, you know, hey, you're supposed to be with one man the rest of your life, you know, unless that man dies off and the Most High is with you. If he dies, your husband dies, you can go find a, another husband. If he finds you, then cool, you can marry. <laughs> you know? But these bitches, man, they nasty, man. They're foul. You know? They're out there literally opening their legs, trying out the product, and then returning it to the store with the tag still on it. That's their, that's their attitude with men. They just open their legs to different men like they're trying it out, see if it works. And then they go on to the next and to the next and to the next, man. You know, they say otherwise that they're, you know, man is a dog and this and that. But, man, he cheated on me. He beat me. It's just obvious the Lord's not with you, period. So it says, the findings chime with those of previous studies implicating sexual transmitted infections and the development of several types of cancer and hepatitis suggest the researchers. So, it was among women. So, you know, 
closer we get to the end, you know, uh, a lot of these women, man, she might just start start um mutating, you know, right before your very eyes, <laughs> you know, straight up. The closer we get to the end, the more the spirit of your how about your how shot come upon this earth, man. Strange things is gonna start happening, you know. <laughs> Strange things, you know. And you think being under the stress that stress tends to have a way of opening up, awakening these things, these viruses and colds and flus in people's bodies, man. You know, strange things is about to start happening. Uh, let me close with this last scripture. But this is pretty bad, man. This is pretty powerful. You know, it's mainly these women sleeping at the man, at the man, at the man, at the man. Isaiah 32. You know, this is all those that are preparing to, you know, get up in age and, you know, and thinking they're comfortable retiring and, and, and traveling and moving to the Bahamas. And, you know, that's a lot of these motherfucking bitches dream. You watch the movie, uh, I said the movie, watch the channel HGTV, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm trying to think of the, what's it called? Uh, House Hunters or uh, uh, I think one of them is House Hunters. A lot of these, you know, a lot of these nigga women, they. You know, got nice jobs and, and then accumulated a little bit of wealth. They move to the islands and they move to the the west, to where, west, you know, the West Indies, the hem, Western Hemisphere, where the islands are, like Jamaica and and uh, you know the Caribbean. You know, they buy a little condo. You know, the coast of Florida. You know, they you know they buy a little condo next to the water and shit. You know, <laughs> that's kind of funny, man. They literally don't think this place is coming to an end. You know, literally. So. Isaiah 32 and 9, rise up, ye women that are at ease. And that word ease, that's bad. That word ease is bad. Let's go into it. Let's just look it up. Ease. Go straight. It's straight uh, connected to I, uh, Isaiah 3. Straight up connected to this beautiful the spirit is connected. These scriptures are connected. Precepts upon precepts, how they're connected, man. It says, at ease, quiet, secure, at ease, secure, at ease, careless. Proverbs, Proverbs, what was that? Proverbs 9 and, and, and 13, foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. At ease, careless, wanton, and arrogant. Like nothing can touch the bitch, man. That's their attitudes. That's their attitude. That's their... It, like, she can't be touched. Arrogant. Like, I'm above you, nigga. You know? You know, her main thing is just to be better than the, the Israelite man. That's her, that's her main, that's her thing. That's how she's uh, running, she's running on um, cruise control. <laughs> you know? To be better than the man, you know, so she can look down at the man. You know? Careless. Wanting. You know? Just never happy. Just always wanted, always looking for something new. You know, new men, new clothes, new shoes, new men, new men, <laughs> again. <laughs> Sorry, it's about to bring these women down, man. And this is what we've been living for, to see the, the you know, it's one of the things the most high love, man. You know, you know, Esau's just not our enemy. You know, the Israelite like, man had those curses, man. We have many enemies, you know. What's that in uh, Sirach 25 and 7? You know, and uh, there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be unhappy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children. A man. Well, you know these women don't give a damn about their children. These women use the children as an opportunity, you know, to prosper, to get ahead. That's it. But a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And part of one of our enemies is this woman. That's the fact. That's the truth. That's the that's the, the truth of these scriptures. That the enemy, one of the enemies of the Israelite man is our women. You know? So the most high love to see the fall, a man that's waiting to see the fall of his enemy, the fall of our women, to be put back into order. You know? And by putting but getting put back in order, in a you know, we want it to happen in a uh, in a rude and a vicious way. That's what we're waiting for. That's what a man of the Lord is waiting for, for these women to get get their get get uh, uh to get terrorized like they terrorized us, you know.
Like they used this system to terrorize the Israelite man, you know, using their buddy, E, big E, easy E, you know, to terrorize the Israelite man. You know, so we're waiting to see the downfall of our enemy, the nigger woman. So, you know, it says, so rise up ye women that are at ease, that are careless and arrogant and don't give a damn. It says, hear my voice, ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. That's beautiful, man. Trouble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make ye bear and gird sackcloth upon your loins. So it says tremble. You know, the doc tell me, oh, well, I'm going to sit back. I got some bad news for you. You know, you've been diagnosed with cancer. Oh, no, she just flips the hell out. Just lose her goddamn mind. <laughs> she loses her goddamn mind, you know. Why do you think, you know, because you've been living in straight up sin. You, 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 you reek with iniquity. The scripture says you're laden with sins. <laughs> you know, that's what it says. So you go to your doc, 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 who you like to, and you have trust in, and you have faith in. The scripture says, uh, you know, the sinner is given to the hands of these physicians, these these false, these, these weak physicians, you know? The sinner is given to their hands, man. You know? It says, He that sinneth before his maker, let him fall into the hands of the physician. Well, ma'am, you've been diagnosed with cancer and you got to go through chemotherapy. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Man, it's about to get bad for you bitches, man. It's about to get real bad for you bitches. You know? And, you know, with that, I have to say all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai for that. You know? All praises to Yahweh Yahweh Barakate Yahweh Shai. All praises to, to the Most High for that. You know? <laughs> so, to next time, <laughs> we'll be back with some, I'll be back with some, the more of the gospel. <laughs> Shalom.